What is up? This is your boy, Anecdotal, and today we're going back to MSI because the Rebel Giant has appeared and has quickly vanished. That's right, boys. This guy was the quickest, fastest, and the first world boss to be taken down during its first season. Which means what? Which means enhancements matter. I'll have a video about that coming out pretty soon. So, Rebel Giant has come up. Great update. And, uh, what should we call it? Ah, I had it at the tip of my tongue. Well, let's just talk about Rebel Giant and then we'll get on to the next thing. So, uh, at first, promotion tickets were almost a thing of the past. Its percentage of coming out was so low that I pretty much never got it during the entire patch. But luckily, MSI, listening to the players, has repatched promotion tickets back in and I pretty much have seen it 100% of the time on the left side and by pretty much I mean actually 100% of the time so no need to worry anymore the promotion tickets are still there man that would have been horrible you know how many 10 star units I have now like so many so many now and everyone that didn't have the chance to get that just completely felt this this idea of FOMO just idea of missing out because or fear of missing out because they couldn't get those 10 star units man it it would have been horrible but i'm glad msi listening to the community putting those promotion tickets back in it was horrible not to have it there but you got to give props when props is due msi ecore good thing putting it back in there you guys rock still though not happy with this new way of getting artifacts it's not great man you got to spend honor coins now what <laughs> Come on, what was what's, what's that about? Or you gotta spend like a hundred gems, I mean a hundred uh, troops, pieces, there you go, during in the soul exchange, which is crazy because everyone's enhancing units now, so who, why waste, <laughs> why waste your pieces on that? Makes no sense at all. Currently what I'm doing is I'm working on people like Mono Eye because my slugs are maxed out and I need to like level them up. So we need a new batch right now of troops. Ones that increase your max slug level like specifically and also teleport ones. I have been getting stuck on non teleport event days where I have like a 2% 5% chance of teleporting and I get stuck on stages. Not not good at all huge update uh about this game also boot camp stages are getting a lot easier but the the last one with the whatever that dark material is i think they're they're black uh spaceships the, or pods whatever those things are almost impossible so a lot of you have kind of spent honor coins on the wrong things a lot of you were spending it on on those troops or whatever uh in this store for the attack the pvp attack store it was useless. I told you not to, man. And now you guys are running low. You can trans your your artifacts, I think, all the way to three. I'm currently doing it to uh, to two, like the two purple ones. So come on, man. And you also got to level up and rank up your artifacts. Told you not to waste your, your honor coins there. Make sure all the future honor coins that you get, you do not waste there. So as you know, the boot camp has been expanded. A lot of it is a lot easier now. Again, <clears throat> due to enhancements, guys, do that. I'll have a whole video on it later, but like it's mostly like two enhancements. Make sure to get that done. So here, uh, the trick is to go ahead and pick someone you know that does high DPS and work on that character specifically. So it looks like I haven't done it quite yet here, but I think I picked uh, Dr. AI, not the one in a mecha, just the doctor ai he does huge damage his range is really good and he pretty much could just one shot the boss if you get lucky enough which is why you just want to work on one dps i picked doctor ai for the spaceship the last one those stages make sure to do that too and of course you're going to need one that does a different damage in case that thing is lightning resistance so let's see how my pulls go because man do i need soldier pieces so so much so much soldier pieces which is another reason why those promotion tickets are so great you don't lose out on any pieces you just rank them up like that because pieces right now are are just of paramount importance because they need to be used for enhancements not only for your units but for your artifacts and if you're asking me hey which one matters more i would have to ask what you care about more is it world boss or is it to complete advancement of the game? Because no matter what level you are, that doesn't matter to world boss, but no matter how strong your troops are, 
it's not going to matter as much for stage running. You see what I'm saying? So I would always say artifacts, but if you're geared towards world boss or a PvP or you want to be like an, an all-star in your alliance, uh, I'd say troops. So this was really a good event. Obviously, all of this was easily given a, a quick 3,000 gems, and I think I got in total like 5,000 rift stones. So really good. No complaints there. This was nice. The infinity circle. I know this event has passed and it's great ever since the first kind of like, I don't know if it was a mess up, but again, MSI and Ecore, they, you know, they were thinking about what's, what's best for the players and they gave everybody the last, uh, the last prize, which they weren't doing before, which really makes me want to spend in the game. But I feel like it's a little high, man. I, I, I never want to spend more than like, like 10 bucks, <laughs> like 30 is kind of high. So I don't know, maybe if they added the price down, who knows? A couple people are saying the game is a little bit more spend to win, but I don't think the climate really has changed too, too much. It's just that I feel that we have a little bit too much content or at least too much things to upgrade at once out of nowhere. Uh, but there are new prizes just depending on your level. So that's also a really cool thing. Now let's go ahead, let's circle back to the arcade mode, which I think is probably the best arcade mode to date because all three characters are usable. Unlike all of the other ones, all three characters are usable. And my favorite character is actually, I would say he's not the best, but it's the shield soldier because you can do a regular melee attack with his sword and you could also just shoot from a distance and you have the HP to tank because you're a sh you're holding a shield. You, you are a tank soldier. So he could actually be in the front and do his thing and not have to stay in the back behind the the shield, the shield soldier that ends up like pulling forward and you have a whole team behind you. So all three soldiers are viable. You can get your 58 gems no matter which one you pick. And if you're going for a high score, I would say the bomber is actually the best one. It really brings me back to like N64 using the bomber. <laughs> so you could adjust his, his, uh, man, again, this is just, it, it keeps taking me back. If you guys ever played Gunbound, it kind of takes me back to that where you kind of like aim your trajectory to throw it. I didn't really get that kind of feeling playing the subway one, which I guess is the same with the grenade. But here, the bomber man, he's so fun. Bazooka guy, his shots fizzle out, which really annoy me. So I don't really love him that much. But I mean, if you want something easy, something quick, go ahead and do that. I think if you want something fun, so something that has the most versatility, go with the shield guy. Definitely my favorite, but if you don't really feel like putting too much effort into it, the easiest thing to do is just pick the bomber. This has been your boy, Adam Jordan. If you like this video, man, make sure to like it, share it with anybody from the MSI community. And of course, don't forget to make yourself known. Comment down below. Peace.